All right, I've got the axles out of the 930 in there. Uh, I did have to end up changing the gears. I took it off of the Peerless uh, 206 uh, axles and just put them over on here. They're both splined. Uh, I know it's a little dirty, but um, I'm gonna slap it back together and make sure everything turns good. That's the top of it, it's nice and clean. I love uh, love how clean it is. It's actually cleaner than what I expected to be, but um, yeah, my battery is almost dead, so I'll try to get this whenever I uh, get the top back on. But if not, sorry. Also, let me get out of light here. Um, I also ended up changing out the little rubber ends down here. Uh, the 206 rubber ends was bigger than uh, those. Also, you can tell that's grease. This is oil filled. So I had to end up using these also. But yeah, let me get this put back together real quick. Alright guys, there it is. All put back together besides the uh, controlling arms. Which I got them right there. It is going to work. As you can see, everything's turning just fine. I can hold that side over there, and this side over here will spin. And just to show you that I'm not lying, it is a Peerless MST-206. Let me find a second. Oh, uh, where? There it is. There is the numbers right there. MST 206502C. Peerless. Okay. Now I'm going to show you what I had to do to make this work. The 930, the mounting blocks are thicker right here. So. What I've done to compensate for that is I've put four washers on each side and that mounts the hub, I'm going to call this the hub, the hub assembly to the uh, transmission casing. But I've done it on all four bolts so it's even and also I'll show you what else I had to do. If you will notice, if you can see under here, there's a lip right here on this casing, or it's been smoothing down. Okay, what I had to do to the Peerless uh, 206, or yeah, MST 206, what I also had to do was I had to grind the uh, support for the bracing just a little bit back so this metal piece would go up here. It's not going to affect it any, any uh, strength or anything like that. So yes, this is a how-to video on how to make your Peerless MST-206 a full-wheel drive, um, all-wheel steer. I've done it to mine, and it will work. So as you can see, like I said, that side is turning. Well, it's not stopped. That's because this side's turning now. So, yeah, that is how it works. Like I said, me and Zach Miller tossed it around a couple times uh, talking about it. Uh, he gave me the idea, or he didn't give me the idea, but I, I pitched the idea to him and I said, uh, I said, I wish I knew if it were, you know, the inside shafts, the axles were the same. And he, uh, he looked it up and he said, yes, they're both splined uh, right here is what we'll talk about being splined that is where your uh, your gear goes for the uh, to turn the bowl gear inside so took it apart checked it out and hey it works now I've got to take it all back apart again and put me a, a bead of silicone around it because now uh, well typically these are oil filled so uh, 
This is how to convert a MST-206 to a all-wheel steer, basically full-wheel drive for me, because the Dirty Murray also has a peerless MST-206. So, can any of y'all guess what I'm about to do? Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Um, if you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments below. I know I still have the bearing here for my gear shifter. I've got to put it back in, but yeah. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe.